Let's talk about virtual destructors. Uh, they're important for cleanup purposes, as we'll see. I have made my typical base and derived uh, inheritance hierarchy here. And uh, the base constructor simply prints out uh, traces itself. It prints out base, and the derived constructor traces itself as well. So if I instantiate one of these uh, derives on the stack and run it, as you would expect, we see the base constructor execute before the derived constructor, but both constructors execute. The base portion of the object uh, is stored before the derived portion. In this case, I don't have any data members, so that's kind of irrelevant. But anyway, virtual destructors. So let's let's add uh, destructors to both of these classes. The destructor looks exactly like the constructor, except we put this tilde here. Um, C sharp, those of you familiar with C sharp will notice these look a lot like what C sharp calls finalizers. Um, C sharp used to call them destructors, but there's actually a critical difference between the two. Destructors are executed deterministically, meaning we know exactly when they're going to execute, how and why, and all that kind of stuff. Um, whereas in C sharp, uh, they just execute whenever the garbage collector decides to wake up and collect them. So, so big difference. If we need to do some major cleanup, um, we want to want to do that uh, deterministically. Anyway, destructors. So I'm going to execute this now. No, now remember, when I first executed this without the uh, destructors in there, we saw the base constructor execute and then the derived constructor execute. And if I execute or run this. <laughs> We see that we have base, derived, and, and so this is kind of nice. We initialize the base, then we initialize the derived, which can rely on the base members, and then deinitialization or destruction happens in opposite order from the initialization. That's, that's something you should get used to and always uh, try to do explicitly in your game code. In fact, in game code, we don't like to rely on constructors or destructors as well because um, what if there's failures or that kind of thing? Um, so we really don't rely on this, but it's something you definitely need to be aware of how virtual destructors work. Anyway, no issues. Base derived, derived base, very good. So let's put this derived instance on the heap, and the way you do that is is now I have to say, well, it's th this derived variable is a four byte pointer, and it's going to point to some space out on the heap. Um, parentheses to call the parameter list constructor are optional. I will leave them out here. Um, it makes no difference. Um, so let's run this and see what happens. We see we got base and drive, but notice the destructors didn't execute. And the reason that is is we didn't explicitly clean up our RAM. Here we have a memory leak. We have taken up RAM up on the heap, and we have not freed it up. This is a common bug amongst uh, C++ programs, especially as your programs get larger, these uh, memory leaks become very hard to track. But we'll we'll get into that and see that later. So let's be uh, a little better than we are and say delete derived, meaning uh, free that memory up t for the heap to cons to so we can consume it later. Run the program. We see oh we have our our constructors and destructors just as we did before. Now I'm going to change the compile time type of this derived pointer to a base. So now this reference here, oops, this reference here is a, a base reference. In fact, I'm just going to call it base, just so it's clear. I go base there. So when I run this, well, notice the change in output. The compile time type is a base. The runtime type is a derived. So we run it. Notice we get base and derived, the constructor is running. But then all we get is the base destructor. Which isn't good. If der the derived constructor was doing some important cleanup and we were, were relying on that, well, that's not good because now it does not execute and we have an error in our program. Unfortunately, this is just how C++ works. You may be asking, well, why did I get both the constructor for base and derived? Well, that's because the constructor is executed by this expression here, new derived, meaning create a derived. And in order to create a derived, I can see explicitly that I need to run the derived constructor, and then I need to run the base type constructor, which is base. But when I delete base, the only thing the compiler knows 
about this base pointer is that it's pointing to a base. It doesn't really know about this runtime type derived. In fact, one way I like to teach this is I'll tab this off the screen. So you really don't know what's out there. It's just the compiler only sees base. Well, that's not good that the derived destructor doesn't execute. So the way to get around that, uh, to actually make that happen, is to make the uh, destructor virtual. And notice now when I execute this, we get, well, if it'll build, build succeeded. Come on, let's go. Okay, there we go. So now we have uh, the proper destructors. And also notice that um, the derived destructor executed and the base destructor executed, not just the derived. With normal virtual methods, when you call a virtual method, you only get the most uh, specific implementation, in this case, derived. Only that implementation executes. In another video, I showed you how to call up to the base class explicitly. But Anyway, with the virtual destructors, we get all the destructors in the chain, and so the compiler inserts the instructions. Basically, it calls the most derived uh, destructor and then the one up and one up and one up all the way to the top of the inheritance chain. So your initial thought may be, well, every type I make I need to put virtual out here. Well, heavens no. <laughs> In fact, if you can, uh, lean against using polymorphism and virtual as much as possible. It's like all tools in a toolbox. It has its place, but just to throw it on there, just to feel like it's a good thing to do, don't. It adds the vtable pointer, as I talked about earlier, and it also, that pointer takes up uh, four bytes of RAM, and then there's overhead and all that kind of stuff. If you need polymorphism, uh, by all means you should feel like you can use it. Uh, but if you don't, definitely don't just go ahead and drop virtual on all your destructors. That's definitely not ideal.